But right now, like I said at the onset of the show, we have famed photographer, yeah. magazine extraordin editor extraordinaire, Mr. Herb Bias. Oh, hey. Listen. Huh? You know the name. You know the name. Yeah. You seen the work. You see the aim. You, know you see the aim. Oh, no Top shotter, baby. Top no shotter. Thank you, man. I appreciate you for coming on board, Herb. Absolutely. Now, I say top shotter for a while. On that camera, behind the lens, man, there are not many people like you, bro. I, I'm, Thank I'm you. a big fan of your work, man. Been for a long time. You know, so this is a long time coming, you being here, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to say also that I, I appreciate and I'm honored to be here. I've oh, thank you, actually man. reviewed the site and I saw, yeah. you know, a, a lot of wonderful people come on this show, you know, right, and I looked right. at it, I'm like, oh, man, right. now it's, you know, I'm saying, right. man, there's some heavy hitters you didn't hey, have you up know here, what, brother, so I'm honored that you asked me to be here. I, I really am. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, man, you got a tremendous following, man. I mean, you got a reputation that precedes itself. I mean, you, we had such a great response promoting you on the show. You know, a lot of people look up to you and your work, man. I mean, you know, you've built a lot of great relationships over the years working and doing the things you're doing, you know. Yes, how sir. did you even get started? You know, we're going to talk about the magazine and everything. Yes, sir. But how did you even get started in photography? Well, I'm, I'm going to give you the short story because there is a long story to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, when I first started out, um, while I was still in the University at Cleveland State, I began employment in a, in a uh, corporate entity. And I actually, and this is the short story, I actually worked there for 13 years before I left there. Right. Yes, before I left there to be an entrepreneur. And what had happened was I had learned, and obviously I was young when I started there because I was just 18, but I was still in school, you know, at Cleveland State University. And uh, I, I, I quickly learned that the way these uh, corporate entities are structured, it, it was in direct conflict with my African spirit, meaning my sense of justice and fair play, that African spirit that we have, these institutions don't play by those rules, okay. regardless of what they tell you. So I was faced with uh, a, a lot of uh, just uh, what's called institutionalized racism. I'm telling you from the horse's mouth, I did 13 years, so I'm not telling you something I heard, I'm telling you something I experienced. So. I had to make up my mind, you know, do I want to continue down this path that was, again... What was it you were doing at this corporation? Well, when I left there, I was assistant buyer in the purchasing department. Okay. Prior to that, I worked for material management. My background was business and administration. Okay. And, you know, my educational background. So I was kind of growing in, in that company, you know, and the higher up I got, the, the more I got to see just how things are done. You know, I had access to things that I didn't have when I first started, you know, right. and it, sh it was showing me this just tremendous imbalance of injustice uh, and particularly toward right. uh, So African this was people. weighing heavily on your mind oh, yeah. to where it was fostering thoughts in your mind that go ahead and step out on your blind Absolutely. and do for yourself. And it, was, it was definitely the catalyst to me saying, you know, I can't do this. I have to be independent, you know. Right. Uh, from these entities in order to to protect my spirit, to protect my conscience, you know what I'm saying? Because if that gets broken down, then you get broken down. Right. You know now, what I'm saying? Now, but was it in the mind to, okay, now you, you're having these thoughts of leaving the corporate corporate world and stepping out on your own. What Were the thoughts of photography and, and the things you're doing now, were those the thoughts starting to come into your mind or, or what? Prior to that, probably about four years prior to, I began taking some other courses at Cleveland State University. Okay. And I just Before happened up on the photography. It a rap. Right, right. So I had already kind of molded and prepared for this move four years prior to actually leaving. I began building up everything going toward it, you know. And I just happened into photography. I was uh, having lunch with a uh, an associate, you know, at the university. I was taking some courses, and he had a camera. And I was asking him about the camera, and he said he was just uh, some fill-in classes for credits, so he right. took these photography courses. So I said, well, let me fill in some credit. And, man, uh, that was it. I got hooked the very first experience at that beginning class of photography. Tell me about that. What 
about that experience that got you hooked? What was it? Was it, you know, you seen, what, what, what tell me, I want to know. It was the, it, you know, I think, and, and my mother brought this to my attention. She, she, you know, she knows me better than I know myself. She says, as a small child, I've always been an artist, so to say. I used to draw, and I remember now that she refreshed. She said, I was always into drawing and sketching. So I think what that played into the whole photography thing, it, it, gave, it took me back to that, which obviously was something that was in my heart to do. Drawing, sketching, Right, images. and it's all that whole art world thing. Right. So when I first started, it was way before digital. Wasn't right. none of this. Right, right. <laughs> wasn't no internet, wasn't no computers. None Just of this was going dark, on. Dark room in it, the Yeah, it was room. straight up dark room. But <laughs> the process, the yeah. process was the artistic part to actually go out, take something, and see it come to fruition right there before your eyes. It was like magical to me. Right, okay. And each one was different. You know, it was never the same experience. I just loved doing it, you know, right. and it parlayed and kept on, and I decided, you know, this is, this is what I want to do. And I had to figure out how to make a living doing it after that, but it right. worked out.